How to get what you ultimately want. Keep watching. This is Life Mastery Jim. I'm Damon Cart, and I teach people just like you cutting edge NLP processes and techniques so that you can master your life and take charge of your destiny. So if that sounds good, make sure you click that subscribe button right down here so you can get these videos on a regular basis. I've been studying and practicing NLP for more than seven years, and on this channel, I've made nearly 700 videos on this topic. So if you're looking to use NLP to get what you want, create the life that you wanna live, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you're going to understand much more about how NLP works to help you get what it is that you want. Before I get into this, I just wanna let you know, next week, I will be having a three-part coaching and training with a special guest, and it is for free. Spots are limited, so you wanna make sure you jump on this right away. If you go down to the description right here down below, you'll see a link, click on that link, and you'll, you can find out more information about it and how to enroll. Most people would like to think that we experience life objectively or it's possible to experience life objectively and to hold an objective position or perception of people and things, but that's just absolutely not true because all the information that is coming in through your five senses is being filtered and you're representing it or representing it. You're putting it all together inside and creating a representation of all that you're, all the information that you're taking in. And the reason for this is we could not possibly take in all of the information that is hitting us all at once. In fact, there may, there may be more information and I would think that there probably most likely is that our five senses can't even pick up. What we're picking up as reality first has to pass through our five senses, and then we code that experience internally through internal representational systems by seeing images in our mind, movies in our mind, by hearing voices, by hearing sounds, by feeling emotions, and creating evaluations and judgments. This is all happening at lightning speed, and most of it is happening unconsciously. So as this happens, we evaluate all this information and we have to have something to do with it. In most cases, we're deleting a lot of this information out. We're also distorting this information and we're also generalizing information because there's so many unknowns in this world that we take information that we're familiar with and we project it onto the unknown so we can sort of navigate in the dark. Now, this isn't a bad thing. This is not something to judge ourselves by. This is something that is happening, will always happen. It's happening. So there's no point in trying to fight it. What you can do and what NLP can help you do is navigate that, understand it, understand how you're creating, creating the subjective experience that you call your life, your reality, your identity. This is all the things that NLP was created for. And if you think about it, every system that has been created is an attempt to map reality. And it might not even be an attempt to map all of reality, but at least a part of reality. So think about it like this, language. Every language is an attempt to map reality. It's an attempt to give tonal or you know sounds to things that happen so that we can point them out, so that we can communicate them. And there are many, many languages. So there's many, many maps of reality just in language alone. And language is not the only map. And by the way, this is one of the reasons that we have an L in NLP, linguistic. The founders of NLP realize how important language is for mapping reality and influencing reality because the language you speak, the words you use is an indication of your thoughts and how you perceive the world. And likewise, by changing those words, by uh, noticing the limitations in your language, you can then change that. And by changing that, it actually influences your perception of reality. But that's just one language, probably your native language. You can learn, I, I don't even know how many languages there are, 
but each one is an attempt to map reality so that we can navigate reality, that we can communicate it so that we can point it out to other people and so that we can even think about it in our own minds. Just think about it, there was a time when we did not have language as human beings. Imagine what our thoughts were like. Sure, we had thoughts for sure, and we probably saw images and movies just like we do now, but what we didn't have is that evaluative process. That's what language really helps us do is evaluate on an abstract level, what is happening and create categories and create generalizations and beliefs. And it doesn't just stop with language. Math is also another attempt at mapping reality. Actually, it's a very successful attempt at mapping reality, giving symbols and creating formulas about how reality itself works, like physics. Then you have science, which math kind of runs into science with physics. Science is, again, another map of reality, trying to take as much information as we can and look at it objectively. However, we cannot deny that the looker, us, or each individual, is still looking through that lens of subjectivity even when we're dealing with science. But in science, we try to reduce that as much as possible. And once again, it does not end with science. Yoga and dance, the, the physical movements, I, once again, that's another way that we try to map reality. It's another way that we try to make meaning of physical sensations, try to make meaning of the world around us. So there are endless maps of reality. We do this constantly. This seems to be almost our, our great contribution to the world or what our intelligence contributes to the world. That is, we are constantly as human beings looking for ways to map reality. And with those maps, we can then communicate reality to other people. And I don't want to leave art out. Art is another wonderful way of mapping reality. And art is unique because it's not an attempt to be a literal mapping of reality, sort of like science tries to do. Art is a metaphorical or analogical way of trying to map reality, trying to make meaning of the world around us. So it does it through metaphor instead. One of the most powerful things is to bring science and art together. This used to actually be a normal thing. In fact, there used to not be science and art. It used to be one thing. And you can think of people like Leonardo da Vinci, who was an artist and a scientist. And that's how it was commonly thought of. And over the years, they decided to separate the two. What I, what I really love about NLP is, in a sense, it's about bringing those two back together, creating a new system out of both science and art. So you can use metaphor while at the same time gathering very good scientific information to create an all-encompassing map of reality. So you might be thinking, okay, Damon, I get it. What you're saying is, is that NLP is another map of reality. And not only that, it's like a really good one. Mm, yes, but not quite. NLP, neurolinguistic programming, is a map for creating maps of reality. And you could even say that it might be an attempt to create the ultimate map, but I don't quite I don't quite go for that. I mean, maybe an individual each individual practitioner can see it however they see it. But I see it more as giving you the tools to create the life experience that you want to live. It's a tool for understanding how you're creating your current experience and if you don't like it or if you want more then it helps you create another experience, that the experience of life that you want to experience. And NLP techniques, a lot of people think that NLP is about techniques and learning techniques. Actually, it's not. NLP is uh, about mapping, this, this process of mapping and modeling. Ma modeling and mapping success. And when I mean success, it's the success however you define it. And in that process, in that process of learning to map, the techniques are sort of like the tools that were left behind as the founders of NLP were developing it. And I don't want to just limit it to the founders. There were many developers who were inc included and still developing NLP to this day. The NLP techniques are sort of like the tools that were created to learn how to do this mapping. And because the tools were created for that, they're still around and they're, they're, very, they're very powerful and we can still use them for helping us create that 
life, that experience that we want to live. And so we have to sort of learn the map, that we have to learn how to be map makers of our own lives in order to help us get what we want. And as an NLP coach, what I help people do is help them create a map of reality that helps them experience the life that they want to experience. Now you might be saying, but you know, I don't, I don't care about the, ex you know, creating the experience that you're, you're talking about, Damon. I just want to make more money, or I just want to do better in sales, or I want to get that house, I want to get that car. I understand, and no, you don't. <laughs> so what do I mean? Okay, I agree with you. You probably want those things, but more importantly, if you go deeper with this you want the experience you think those things are going to give you. And in some cases, you might be right. You might be right. The, you get that nice brand new car and it gives you exactly the experience you were expecting. However, it doesn't usually last that long. You have the experience, but what happens to all experiences? They evolve, they, they fade, they move, they grow, they devolve. Without understanding this, we go chasing a lot of these things that we think will give us the life experience they want to have or I want to have. And I think that if I can gather enough toys and I can achieve enough goals and I can create an, uh, you know, the success that I want, if I can put all these things into place, then I will live the life experience that I want to live. We know that's not true. Why? Because we see so many people who do exactly that and they're not happy, they're not fulfilled, they're not satisfied. Now, I don't mean to say that these things make you unsatisfied and make you unfulfilled. No, they don't, they're just objects. And in some cases, they're just achievements. So they, they're, they're just sitting there doing their thing. They're not making you unhappy, They're sorry, and they, but they can't make you happy. It's about understanding the experience you're going after. Objects and achievements don't have inherent value. They only have the value that you project onto them. And this is what we recognize in NLP, that I'm projecting a state onto this goal, onto this object, whatever it is that I want. And what I need to realize is that if I'm projecting it onto this thing, that it, it must be something that I already have inside of me. So it's about achieving that state. So if I can achieve that state, now, before I even have the objects, before I even have, before I've even achieved the goals, it will make achieving it and getting it so much easier because I'm coming from a place of abundance and I'm coming from a place of already being fulfilled rather than desperate and rather than being mired in scarcity. In NLP, we understand this and we understand the techniques and the processes it takes to create those states, create those experiences, that experience that we already want inside of us first, and then we go after whatever it is that we want. And this is why most people have it backwards. They think, oh, if I go and get that, then that means I'm somebody. If I go and achieve that or get that car or whatever, then that means my life is great. Good luck with that because um, I've gone down that path many times and I know many people who have. And if you're not happy before you have something, if you don't feel successful before you can check all those boxes, you're not gonna feel successful or happy afterward. I can't emphasize enough learning NLP, learning to map your reality so that you can make the reality that you want to live. This is what life is all about. You wanna make this a lifelong practice. Don't you wanna make living the best life you possibly could live a lifelong pursuit, a lifelong practice, something that you are, are always doing, that is always getting better as you evolve and as you actualize more and more potential, that you're always stepping up and being your best self and create creating the best life that you could possibly live. And this is the importance of learning mapping and, and mapping your reality, learning NLP to do that. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you want to take this deeper, if you're ready to start learning how to do this, if you want to start working on a plan for your life to get what you want, to experience the life that you wanna live next week. Well, it depends on when you're watching this video, but if you're watching this video on the day that it's come out or shortly thereafter, next week, like I said, I'm hosting and teaching a three-part live training with a special guest where we're going to help you work through this process 
and you will have a map to take with you once we're done. It's free and there's just absolutely no reason why you wouldn't want to jump on this and take advantage of it right away because it, it will fill up, it is free. Um, I do these things sometimes and like I said, you will walk away with a map by the by the the last part of this by the third part of it you will have documents to show your mapping to create the reality that you want to live in and to be the person you want to be if you like this video make sure you click that thumbs up and if you haven't already make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll get notified when new videos come out. Last but not least, if you can think of a friend or a family member who would like this video, make sure you share it with them. Take care.